Now, let us understand about the trigonometry identities. An equation is called an identity when it is true for all values of the variables involved. An example is shown on the screen. Similarly, an identity equation having trigonometric ratios of an angle is called a trigonometric identity. An example of a trigonometric identity is shown on screen. Now, let us derive the above identity. Proof. Consider a triangle ABC with right angle at B. Here, the side AB is adjacent, BC is opposite side and AC is the hypotenuse. From Pythagoras theorem, we have equation 1. Now, divide both sides of equation 1 with AC square as shown on screen. We know that AB, AC are the sides of triangle representing their corresponding sides. We use them to define the ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse as cos function and ratio of opposite to hypotenuse as sine function and substitute them in above equation 1. Finally, we obtain the first trigonometric identity as shown on screen. Now, let us derive another such identity. Proof. Let us consider a triangle ABC with right angle B. From Pythagoras theorem, we have equation 1. Now, divide with AB square on both sides of equation 1. We get as shown on screen. We know that AB, AC are the sides of triangle representing their corresponding sides. We use them to define the ratio of opposite to adjacent as tan function and ratio of hypotenuse to adjacent as sec function and substitute them in above equation 1. Finally, we obtain trigonometric identity as shown on screen. Now, let us prove one more identity. Proof. Let us consider a triangle ABC with right angle B. From Pythagoras theorem, we have equation 1. Now, divide with BC square on both sides of equation 1. We get as shown on screen. As we know AB, AC and BC are the sides of triangle representing their corresponding sides. We use them to define the ratio of adjacent to opposite as cot function and ratio of hypotenuse to opposite as cosec function and substitute them in above equation 1. Finally, we obtain trigonometric identity as shown on screen. Now, let us list out all the identities together. The above identities and some more identities obtained by performing simple algebraic operations like addition, subtraction on the previous identities are listed below for quick review.